Hey everybody, this is Joey Jordison. I'm Kaylin Chase. We're from, from Mimic, Mimic, and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here, and we're here with Vimic here at Chicago Open Air. Thank you guys so much for giving me some of your time. Glad to be here. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you. It's an exciting time for you guys being on tours like this, and uh, we're all anticipating the new record, uh, Open Your Omen. Is it still going to be called that? Yes, it is. Still, uh, yep, same title. Cool. Uh, I know that a 2017 release date was originally hoped for. Is that still going to happen? It's definitely going to happen this year. Uh, right. We we can't give the exact date out because we're working all the you know the nonsense out with the finishing of it. But yeah. it's it's going to be out this year, and uh, everyone will enjoy it very much. Yeah, we got to make a little a couple of adjustments on release dates to make sure it maximizes exactly what we want to do with the touring. So right now, touring is the most uh, optimal thing that we're doing right now, and to make sure we set up the record so the anticipation is going to be a little better. We went through a remix and everything, and uh, the, the record sounds awesome, man. We, we can't wait to get it out, so it's going to be really cool. Great. I know that you're active uh, with Sinsanum as well. Uh, how are you balancing the two acts? Basically, it's just a great communication between the two bands. Everyone knows, uh, you know, there's other other guys in the band that do other projects as well. But when it when it comes time, you know, and a, a great tour and opportunities, you know, present themselves, if you're going to do two bands, you got to have respect, you know, for each other and realize, like, you know, how you're going to balance it out. So uh, as far as like, you know, both bands, you know, I'm just glad to be out here promoting Vimic right now. Our record's coming out and all stuff. With Sinsanum, we can't wait to get out and tour either. And uh, you know, when the time is right, it's gonna be right, you know? And the, here's the thing, it's like, even if like I have off time, you know, it's, you know, Sinsanum wants to go out, we can go out. Like, I don't I don't even care about time off. I just rather no, just yeah. keep going, you know, so. But yeah, Sinsanum's gonna be on tour soon. Yeah, cool. I know that you've been saying that with Sinsanum you want to do a really elaborate stage show, like something really insane, you know. When it comes to Vimic, uh, what do you think the live show uh, will eventually grow to become? Right now, you know, it's kind of, we're bare bones, which I like a lot because it really showcases the communication between the members of the band and exactly how we're getting out to the fans, where we don't need a lot of stuff, you know. We don't need it. Right now, I really like to not have any distractions. It's just us. You got our, our banners, our scrims, and you're seeing the band for real. And like, that's what we're trying to portray right now. I actually want trebuchets on stage. Um, I want to hurl grand pianos out at the audience. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll sign an assumption of risk clause. I want, I want there to be just so much splendor that we're completely forget what we're here for. And it's just nothing but distraction. No, I'm kidding. I'm mostly kidding. I'm not kidding. So what do you think you guys will be doing uh, for touring? Because I know a lot of people are going to want to see Vimic live. Do you have any touring plans coming up soon? We have some stuff that's being booked right now. We can't get specific, which is great, because I love just saying that F you to everybody. Uh, but we're we, we are going to be out a lot at the end of this year. We're going to be doing stuff all through next year. Um, we got touring wish lists, you know, bands we want to play with. And um, we're hoping that we're going to get to hook up with all those bands, you know, selfishly, of course. All right. Uh, but has anyone confirmed yet? I know you don't want to name names. But we, we can't yet. We can't name we names can't. yet. There's there's a lot of, you know, um, I could lie. I just invent something. Sure, go yeah. ahead. All right, we're touring with the Virgin Prunes. I've never heard of them. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Yeah. No, we're, we, as soon as it's out, you guys, everyone's going to know, but we got to finalize everything but you first. got something real cool coming. we got a lot of really cool things coming. All right. Well, obviously, you know, everybody knows Joey's uh, very extensive musical lineage. At, I want to hear more about your musical lineage. Um, I think the first uh, big thing I did was uh, with Korn as the background vocalist, percussion, sure. keyboard, guitars. I joined them in 2006 and Joey actually joined in 2007, which is where we met. That's right. That's right. So I, I did that for about three years. Joey was in there in 2007. That was our favorite favorite time for me in, in, as far as the band. And we, and we struck a friendship and we always used to uh, joke but then not really joke that we wanted to do a band together and it took us a decade because we know we had things to do uh, but yeah that was that was the big thing and then after that I went to Hollywood and, and started teaching I was teaching music and uh, just doing production gigs and he called me up and said hey do you want to be in a band before we finished band yes yeah of course yes I do yes yes is the correct answer yes so I want to play with my best friend yes I do very much it was, it was a no-brainer but I have to say honestly and Kaylin knows this, it was like, and all the guys in the band, I'm like, I know the guy, I know the guy that we need. 
and it was one of the hardest decisions I made because one of my best friends, and I didn't want not want to disappoint him whatsoever. And I just, and I'm like, I, I, finally, I was just like, I know the guy, and I just gave him a call. He came in, sent him some songs, went in the studio, demoed it, and I'm like, killer. It was, just, it was perfect. So I know that. Uh, Joey, with your career, you've dabbled with all different ki kinds of music, some real extreme stuff, uh, some stuff that's more rock-based, you know, murder dolls, stuff like that. What can people expect the sound of Vimic to be once they finally get to listen to this record? Uh, the best thing about this is there's no limits or there's no boundaries about what we want to do. The thing is, you know, we keep our music open-ended enough. It will always be metal, it will always be extreme and hard. But and when I say extreme, a lot of times that has to, that comes along with melodies as well, or or different you know styles of music that we incorporate within our metal roots. Mm -hmm. So there's not a, a necessary like formula. You know, we don't just stick to like one thing. But it will all like once we get together, we all understand each other, and it always will come back to be in the Vimic sound no matter what. We will never release anything that does not represent the band properly. Yeah.